Hi, Cindy. Hi, Fred. Ladies and gentlemen, uh, this is Cindy Thompson. She's been a client of mine for several years, and I just wanted you to hear why she became a client, so I'm going to let her tell you a little bit of her own words. Cindy, you're on the air. Uh, can you tell the listeners how you and David met me and why you wanted to schedule a consultation? I sure can. Um, back in 2000, um, when the stock market um, fell apart, we lost a third of our um, retirement savings. So when it was 2008 and the stock market started acting up again, we both became very concerned because we're, we were eight years closer to retirement. And just like God's timing is always right, we received a card in the mail from you inviting us to a free seminar and dinner um, about learning about wealth preservation. And when I saw those words, I thought that's exactly what we need because we were not financially savvy at all at this point. So we accepted your invitation, and we we loved that you had so much um, knowledge and expertise because you had been a stockbroker, so you knew both sides, and your professionalism was just spot on. So um, we accepted an invitation to have you into our home, and you went over um, all the things we needed to discuss about making sure our children inherited our money and not <laughs> not ta and not in taxes or anything else. So um, we were just thrilled, and it was an answer to our prayer that we met you, Fred, when we did. Now, what does your husband do for a living? My husband is a family physician, and um, that means that. Um, he makes a, a nice income, but he is not a rich man by any means. And yeah. he has worked very, very, very hard over, um, you know, his his lifetime just saving up for our retirement. And he doesn't have a corporate pension plan when he retires. He's got to rely on the money that he's accumulated, correct? Absolutely. Absolutely. Neither of us had any pension plans at all. We all have it in the stock market because 30 years ago, that's what you were supposed to do with your money, like put it in there and let it grow and grow and grow. And um, unfortunately, that was, um, that was okay for a while, but the closer we got to retirement and the things that happened, it was just not the place to have it anymore. And you were with a large company managing your money, weren't you? Yes, yeah. we absolutely were. We were with one of the largest companies, and we were with them um, in Florida for over eight years. Yeah, when the market went down, what, did, what advice did they give you? Leave it in there because it's going to come back, it's going to come back. And we stuck with them in 2000. We stuck with them thinking, well, we still have a few more years till retirement. And uh, the pattern is it usually comes back. So, But one thing I remember you saying at the first seminar was like, if you were going to Las Vegas to gamble, how much of your retirement would you take? And I thought, isn't that the truth? A stock market is really gambling. And so um, you had a plan that secured our uh, money, our future, our wealth preservation, and um, giving, it to our ch giving it to our children when we're no longer here it was perfect. Yeah, why was it really important that you protect the money? Well, it, it's, we worked so hard for it, and it would be all that we would, it was our inheritance to our children. Yeah, and you're going to need that for income when you and We're David need, retire. We absolutely are going to need every penny of it when we retire. When you came into me before the last market crash of 08, since that time, have you lost any money? We have not lost one penny. Yeah, how do you feel about that? Well, you're just our, you're our best friend forever, and we're thrilled. Yeah, and it's important that you protect the money. It's not worth the returns you could have gotten in the market when the mo money goes down, right? Right, because f from 2000 to 2008, we still had not recouped all the money that we lost in 2000. So um, that that dream of that recouping was gone for both of us. We knew that that probably was was never going to happen. Even if we left it in there, we it was just going to keep losing money. So when the market went up, the brokers took all the credit. When it went down, they didn't have an answer for you. No, they said, "Oh, please don't take it out. Please don't take it out. Just, just it's going to come back." Stay in there for the long run. Yep. <laughs> it's, on, it's only a paper loss. 
Absolutely. Yeah. <laughs> you got it. Yeah, and then your children, uh, when we did the planning for them, when you pass away, they won't have to lose 40 or 50 percent to the government taxes. That was a bit interest for you and David as well. That was such a big relief um, and a blessing because our children, you know, we we adore them, and why would we not want to leave what we have worked so hard for to them and make sure they got every penny they they deserve. And the planning that we did for you and the multi generational planning had never even been talked to you before. Never, it? no. It was you. You taught us everything that somebody should have told us years and years ago, Fred, and we're so thankful that we met you when we did. Well, you've talked to many of my clients over the years that have called you to see what I'm all about, and, and uh, I really appreciate it, and I appreciate you calling in today, and, and uh, we love you, and, and, uh, and we'll talk to you real soon. That, and you tell anybody who would like to talk about you, just give me a call. All right, sweetie. Thanks so much. Okay, you're welcome. See you later. Mm-hmm.